he has six. This one for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. The Hornets shooting a mere 25% from the floor in this first quarter. Oubre outside. There's 154 left to play in the first quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Big Smooth. He's covered by ball and finished off by Leonard. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactics. Pass to Ubre. Five to shoot. Trying to get something going. That's tipped. Here's Big Smooth. He's got 19. Big Smooth to pass to Leonard. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Here's Big Smooth. Oh! oh. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Big Smooth. Ooh. Okay. The devastating windmill jam. Uh, the windmill finish. Oh, that is nasty. How do you do? Oh, finishes the play with utterly no regard for his own safety. And that one is stuffed right through. Excellent oh, off both ends of that play. Yeah, yeah the good. steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Pass to Plumley. Down to five on the shot clock. Milwaukee, another fast break opportunity here. And finished off by Leonard. Great effort and gets in a little razzle dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks able to put out a show for the agents. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we'll be back with you shortly. Well, continuity is such an advantage, and that is something that Giannis has with the Bucks. You see the goal right now, uh, really well. We run plays over and over again. Our offense is not complicated. I know what I got to fight for. I know as a team what we're looking for. So right now, I can see a lot of plays. And he's clearly a capable decision maker with the ball in his hands. And his length, not just an asset finishing, but also finding angles to set up his teammates. Yeah. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, we've seen the Bucs really take control here early. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Bridges and Washington are up in the forward position. Martin is out there with LaMelo Ball. And it's Plumley in at the five. Uh, Lopez at that size has no trouble throwing it down. 
And Brook Lopez, such a great complimentary player, Greg, fits right in with this team. And he gives you good scoring with great efficiency. Very low turnover numbers. Everything you want from a role player. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Big Smooth, the rim-rattling two-handed jam. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full, hustling, and still working hard out there. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Connaughton. Throws down the breakaway jam. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now. Trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Antetokounmpo. And there are the Bucks for the number. A pretty simple solution to ending this run. It would just be getting back and actually playing some defense. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And that one is hammered home. Oh, you gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Even Genzo against Martin. Here we go, one on one. Power down with both hands. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Bucks, another fast break opportunity here. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, a man is going for the juggler. Here's Connaughton, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Yeah, just a simple one hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Anadokounmpo on the double team. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Martin kicks to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Ghana's with it. Bridges covering. Passes it to Big Smooth. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Um, can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Big Smooth, and he goes big with the dunk right over LaMelo Ball. Oh, he's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And here comes the break by himself. Now that's going to finish the break. Throw down with push. The footwork. Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish uh, to go along with excellent it. work around the basket. You're right, GA. And the whistle blows was on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. A lot of points off their turnovers this quarter. Way too many. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Goose is checked in for Lopez. Goose comes in for Giannis under the Gumbo. Leonard, he's checked in for Ben Collins. And it's big smooth in for Dante DiVincenzo. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter.
And so it's Charlotte with it. No points yet here in the second quarter for them. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And that's rocking the rim. Give him two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. Leonard with the steal. Launches a three. And another three for Milwaukee. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hacked all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I'd have to agree, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at trying to balance things out. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer. Hayward denied for the third time. He's 0 for 3. Leonard looking over the floor. Goose the pass to Leonard. There's the three. Bucks passing it around. From deep. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Poke loose. Here's Big Smooth. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. It's almost hard to believe that somebody can throw it down like that. It's a small club, right, Greg? I mean, it's a <laughs> pretty small. small club, that's Very for sure. Exclusive. <laughs> he can really rise up. And the defense knows this. Somebody has to come over to contest. Here's Martin. It's good. He makes oh, his first Martin. shot of the game. And with a merciful bucket, he snaps a terrific run by the buck. I love the unselfishness. And you know... Coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. And it It's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Got a piece of it. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Tipped away. And so it's Milwaukee now. Here's Goose driving inside. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Wow. We are going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special and the Hornets with possession here and up the court come the Bucks on the break and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two that's on Terry Rozier the Bucks have shot just one free throw early one for one in the game and the Bucks with some changes Antetokounmpo's checked in for Goose Chris Middleton comes in for Leonard. And it's Drew Holiday in for Big Smooth. Now, here's Rogier. Now, Mark, they get a hand on it. Here's Big Smooth. 
It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. There's another turnover by the Hornets. Big smooth. He's checked in for the Bucks. Now into the lineup for your Bucks. Number 23. And there's the pass to Big Smooth. Shoots the three. And another three for Milwaukee. First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Rozier looking around. Big Smooth, the pass to Big Smooth. From outside the arc. Good. He's now got 10 of 10 from the field. And he's had an instant performance overall from the field. Hooked away. Pass to Hayward. Now, here's Washington. Covered by Giannis. And the rejection by Giannis. Milwaukee is going to sublime four of four from three-point range since we've gotten in here in the second quarter. They have a good plan going right now. They're starting to create separation. Well, the game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. Personal foul. That is his first foul of the game. Kelly Oubre is checked in for the Hornets. Passes it to Big Smooth. Inside. Here's Giannis. That one goes in for him. difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Now, here's Rogier, guarded closer. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Number Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Here's Rogier. Kicks it to Jones. Pass to Hayward. They need this. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. They get it back. This is when length becomes a massive, massive positive. What a shot block by Giannis. I, I just, I've not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. So Rogier will bring it up for the Hornets. And that's something that seems to get overlooked with Giannis. How gifted a passer he is for a player of his size. Well, the other thing, G.A., that's awesome is that as he's going along here, you can see moments where the game... is literally slowing down the defense. So you take a guy who's won the most valuable player awards, and now the game's getting slower. Man, that's some dangerous stuff. They could use a big shot here. To get the 
this offense going. Too many empty oh. possessions right now. They need a basket. 114 left in the second quarter. Shock up two there. Hughes has got 17. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Back Watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. Here's Goose driving the lane. Uses both hands to slam it down. I love the ball movement here. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Goose has gone a perfect five for five from the field. And It's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Giannis, he's checked in for Goose. Coming down to the floor for your Bucks. 51 Giannis seconds left in the first half. Ball. Knocked away. Hayward on the wing, trying to end the drought. Rebound Giannis into the Kumbo. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. He swipes the ball away again. And he's just been able to anticipate. Oh. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Here's Big Smooth. Oh. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Checking in for the away team. Mason Plumley, Miles Bridges. LaMelo ball. And Plumley kicks to Hayward. No good on the triple. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James Borrego. Coach, too many easy buckets for them. Defensively, where do you dig in? You've got to stop penetration. That's the focus right now. They're getting to the paint. Just way too many points in the paint. Uh, too many breakdowns all over the board defensively. Yeah, that has to tighten up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. Looking absolutely unstoppable off the tip, they put together a masterful 12 0 run. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shot, right? That's the point. Obviously. And big fella, your thoughts on the Hornets? Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, Ernie. Giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They look out of control, and the execution was all over the place. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan.
and after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play up but a little more evenly here in the second. A fantastic game here from Big Smooth in this one. Ooh, that first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, the defense has got to be a little bit embarrassed. There is no reason why he should just be on top of that rim. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. We've got Big Smooth. Goose out there with Goose. It's Goose. And it's Big Smooth in at the one spot. And he just elevates and powers in the one-handed. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Got a piece of it. And here we go. The Bucks running again. Here's Goose. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. A solo fast break. Jumps up. And he dunks it down. Here he comes. And there he goes. Uh, look at him punish that rim. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Hayward with the ball. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Shot clock at six. Rozier finds ball from deep three-point range. Rebound, Milwaukee. 90 seconds now into the second half. That one good for two. And that's now 17 points. For Goose. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Here's Big Smooth. Oh! oh yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. The pass the ball. Back to Rogier. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Nabbing another steal. His anticipation has been off the charts. Wiping the ball away with just such ease. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Yes. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Goose. Antetokounmpo comes in for Goose. Back on it. He's checked in for Leonard. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Big Smooth. Lobbed up there for Lopez. Hammers the alley crew. They start that play with aggressive defense, finish with aggressive offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward. It's a good possession all the way around. Now, here's Ball. D right on. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Yeah, giving away possessions here and really giving away the game. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. From the baseline, 
And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but not now. And stolen by DiVincenzo. And a strong finish with two hands. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactics. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Sloppy oh. is the only way you can describe his play thus far. Just way too many turnovers. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And a... And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Now, here's Ball. Defense right on him. Poke loose. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's on to Takumbo. Oh, and on to Takumbo. Hammers it in. I don't know, two strides, three strides, what was that? Giannis covering some ground. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They're scoreless since the first half. Rozier kicks the ball. They get a hand on it. Bucks another fast break opportunity here. And good! And here's another. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. And Charlotte turns it over again. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Martin's checked in. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Big Smooth. Oh, that was something else. And going to the windmill, Doc, to turn this place on its ear. This crowd is stunned. Here we go, one on one. Again, what an avalanche! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Good evening, Kevin. Now, the NBA does get high marks for its diversity, but there is some frustration on that front when you look at head coaches and front office positions. All star Carl Anthony Towns said, Men of color deserve a chance to lead a team, run an organization, and make their mark. Not just with the jersey on, but with a suit on. Guys? Thank you, David. And that's rocking the rim. Give him the two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. Out of bounds. And out that's of out of bounds. Charlotte will Ball retain fall. possession. Milwaukee on D. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Lock at six. Here's Ball. Out to Hayward. Knocks it loose. Middleton with it. Now defended by Hayward. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Middleton does have some length himself. And he utilizes it there on the drive. Now, here's Ball. He's guarded closely, and now it's Allen. Running. He can go all the way. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off.
Here's Big Smooth. Oh! oh Let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. For Charlotte, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Milwaukee, another fast break opportunity here. And then Allen slams it in. Capitalizing on the era, grinding out points. You gotta love it. That's why you can't. can't afford to just turn it over to him because he's going to do stuff like that to make you pay just right down the throat. And it's Martin missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And good that time. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And Chris Middleton, the longtime buck. He's been with the team. He threw it off. And where I give Chris Middleton the most credit, GA, is the fact that after he signed that long term big money deal, it did not have a great season. It did not deter him from getting to this level because he knew he was worth it and he knew he had the talent. So Chris Middleton deserves what he's gotten in the last couple seasons, especially the way he's played in the postseason. He swipes the ball away again. Here's a oh! 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 At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Plumley, the pass to Martin. Last break, Milwaukee. Allen leading the charge. Here's Middleton. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. That's great signs to see Chris Middleton get up just like that. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they play thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. And it's the Bucks on the break. Here's Portis. And Portis throws it down. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they carried it out. And Allen slams it in. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. And here's Martin. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Hayward outside. And Middleton with a clear path to the hoop. The coast to coast dunk. That's impressive. Flying towards the hoop. Chris Middleton saw just enough of a takeoff area to get to the rim. Pass to Plumley. He kicks to Hayward. Back to Plumley. Now, here's Ball. Tight defense on him. Four on the clock. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Holiday. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Goose, he's checked in for Portis. Goose comes in for Chris Middleton. Leonard, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And it's Big Smooth in for Grayson Allen. And then for Charlotte, Bridges comes in for P.J. Washington. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for Martin. And so here's Charlotte searching for that first bucket here in the third. Here's Big Smooth. Big Smooth, the pass to Goose. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Goose has got four points this quarter. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Well, he's grabbed the tee and a blanket and he's putting this one to bed. And guys, that's not as easy as he.
made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Ball, the pass to Hayward. Charlotte moving it around. The kick out to Ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Another steal. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Big Smooth. Good, he hits again. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Charlotte's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. It's stolen. Goose going inside. And that's how he makes his presence felt. And Greg, we see him do it time and again. He is a special, special talent. Tipped away. Here's Goose, and he goes in for the dunk. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. And another steal for him. And you got to be careful around him. You know, Greg, he's been coming up with some incredible steals so far. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Number 23. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Hayward passes the ball. A shot by Hayward, wide open. And again, the Hornets missing. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be over in bed. Not watching for the line that time. Substitution for the away team. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Bucks ahead, running away with it. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Our Fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Setting the floor for the Hornets. They've got Jones. Terry Rozier is out there with Martin. Then it's Bridges. And it's Oubre in at the small forward. Shot clock at six. From 12 feet out, under the Kumbo grabs the miss. Even Genzo against Ubre. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Goose. And another that basket for Milwaukee. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Bucks? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've got. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. And some changes here for the Bucks. Goose comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Big Smooth in for Dante DiVincenzo. Ogier the pass to Jones. 
There's Big Smooth, covered by Mark. Number 45, dumped very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Craig, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Now, here's Rogier. Not a lot of room. And it's Oubre off the drive. And he can't stop the run as he misses. The Bucs have gotten every shot they've taken so far in the fourth quarter to go in. That's five in a row to start the quarter. And finished off by Leonard. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Knocked loose. And here's the fast break. Here's Goose. And it is Number flushed three, down three. with a nice jam. Here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Here's Big Smooth. He takes it in. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. A solo fast break. Here's Big Smooth. Oh, the power on that Gruden. Unreal. Capitalizing on the era, grinding out points. You gotta love it. That's why you can't afford to just turn it over to him because he's gonna... Do stuff like that to make you pay just right down the throat. There's the lob to the hoop. An emphatic LU champ. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Jones kicks to Rozier. Pass to Martin. Five to shoot. Kicks it out to Jones. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Milwaukee making a switch. Anjikumbo's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Checking in for the Carey's checked in. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And Anjikumbo gets it to go. A huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up. There. So it's the Bucks now. With the drive. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Wallace. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Rozier the pass to Jones. Now, here's Bridges. Back to Jones. Giannis with it. Out guarded by Giannis. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It's tipped, and the Bucks with possession here. Let's it go, and another basket for Milwaukee. Seems like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Martin finds Rogier. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. And he... Oh! oh. oh. And how about just holding to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Now, Martin feeds it to Bridges. Outside for Martin. Yeah. 
And now running up the court, Leonard pushing it up. And it's Leonard with the jam. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. For Charlotte, they've gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. Here's Big Smooth. Oh! At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Carey. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Goose is checked in for the Bucks. Charlotte making the switch here. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Here's Big Smooth. He dents the rim with a two-hand slam. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Here's a one-do. They can't stop the run with that one. Here's Big Smooth. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley? -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Here's Goose. And he used. On the lane. Goose has got 14 points now in the second half. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Big Smooth. Oh! Yes! oh look out oh! Oh! That finish. Oof. Most players would give anything for that kind of hurt. But he's not giving it away. He wants to keep it all for himself. Maybe we should call the maintenance crew. He's trying to tear the rim off. And he jams it with authority. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Pass to Carey. Now, here's McDaniel. He's covered by Leonard. Shot clock at five. And now it's Leonard running. Here we go. All the way. Oh! Oh, well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. The pass to a one-do. Six to shoot. Here's Goose. Here he goes. Boom. He jams it straight down. And he had more than enough room there for one of those trademark slams that he's become noted for. And, and Greg, don't you think once he got that space, you just knew it was going to happen? So did the defense. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, he, he knows the defense was absolutely playing him soft, not respecting his abilities whatsoever. So he made them pay. They start that play with aggressive defense, finish with aggressive offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward for good possession all the way around. Here's McDaniels. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Grayson Allen's checked in for big smooth. The Hornets also with a sub. Martin's checked in for Martin. Four on the shot clock. Here's McDaniels. Jones, the pass to carry. Here's a one-do. To end the run. And the Hornets miss again. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And here's Charlotte. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Hey. 
But another fast break opportunity here. Connects again. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Outside, Martin. Pass to a one do. Back to Martin. And it's a defensive three second three violation. Charlotte Ball. At the line for the Hornets. And so he hits the technical free throw. against Martin. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Passes it to a one do. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it to McDaniels. Takes the three. It's tipped. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Goose. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Pass to a one do. Got a piece of it. Nabbing another steal. And he's just been able to anticipate their every move. Yeah, you're right. An absolute pest on the defensive end. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a galley win for Milwaukee. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And what a huge standout performance it was for Big Smooth. Not sure what else the coaching staff could ask for. He contributed in every facet of the game tonight, racking up a triple-double. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Took him no time at all on that one. And that's now 35 points for Goose making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Carey passes to Martin. Can they get it? That one, no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. Here's Big Smooth. And the basket is good. Big Smooth got 43 points. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. That can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Outside, Mark. Shot on the wing. Got a hand on it, and he recovers it. That one goes. Count it. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, congratulations. How did your team come out on top tonight? We just played hard uh, and we played defense. That's the most important thing. So that's what we do. We play defense. We leave out the ball. We run. That's what we did tonight. We play defense. And it led to a big, big win, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harley. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.